how to get a Tumblr reaction of this fanfic reading called Confession of an Alicorn Princess My Little Pony Romance Try Dash Fan Fiction Fan Fiction Reading in 25 minutes and 11 seconds Confessions of an Alicorn Princess Try Dash I know Try Dash Apparently I am uh, she Try Dash is in the other story that Sparrow's doing and I'm Dr. Colstein Apple Bloom who are you talking to? Anyway, let's get on to this reaction in 3, 2, 1, go. I like the music. The sun shined bright and the wind blew slow as Twilight made her way out of her castle. That is such a ship. Nervous, feeling her hooves. Oh, that's so, that is so cute. I love that. Today, she had to meet up with Rainbow Dash in Ponyville Center, so she could Ooh, continue dusky. her weekly flying lessons with the Bold Pegasus. She had been doing these lessons with Rainbow for the past four weeks. Oh, that's the wish from Savage, isn't it? Twilight had progressed in her flying skills Kitty wish. tremendously. Over the past weeks, though, Twilight had also developed a special feeling for the Pegasus as well. Really? She thought she'd never feel for Rainbow Dash due to them being different in so many ways. At first, Twilight thought of Rainbow only as her friend, but whenever Rainbow adjusted her wings or touched her in any way during the lessons, Twilight oh dear. would start to feel strange. Yeah, an orgasm. Weekend, she'd start to blush, and her heart rate would start to speed up. Rainbow had caught her a few times, and as usual, would ask if Twilight was okay. Twilight would lie with a simple excuse when she knew that she was having a reaction to Rainbow touching her. And it made her feel relaxed. Yet, Sorry, I have to. It was a feeling she liked. Oh, come when she on! To do things to Rainbow Dash that she knew was crossing the line. The lessons were hopeful, but she knew that one of these times she would go too far. Just the thought of it made her lick her lips. Really? Hold it together. This is just the face. I can't possibly have feelings for Rainbow. Exclaimed Twilight. You dreamt about him? Huh? She lowered her voice. Not him. Can I? She shook her head. Can I watch? Kiss her? Fuck her? She spread her wings and flew slowly toward Ponyville Center, feeling a struggle within her mind. Twilight arrived just above Ponyville Center and slowly descended to the ground, cutting all four hoofs along the soft ground. Okay. She folded her wings and placed them back into their normal position as she scouted the area for Rainbow Dash. Rainbow was nowhere to be found. Which didn't surprise Twilight one bit, due to Rainbow being late for the past two weeks. She decided to think about things while waiting for the Pegasus to arrive in Ponyville Center. She thought about how she was going to control herself if there was any physical contact between her and Rainbow. Rainbow had caught her six times, and she knew that Rainbow would eventually question her, wanting to know the real reason behind Twilight's behavior. The way she acted wasn't something that she could control. I think Rainbow, though, Rainbow, the, Rainbow might have a, a feeling Somehow, or guessing what know what's happening. It. Otherwise, she'd have to explain herself to Rainbow. Twilight's thoughts were interrupted as she felt two taps on her head. Hello, beep, beep. Pony Home? Yelled the voice. Twilight looked up, noticing Rainbow Dash flying just above her. Twilight expressed a dumb look. As she closed her thoughts. Oh, uh, sorry, Rainbow. I was just thinking of something. Said Twilight. You're always thinking of something in that head of yours. Replied yeah, Rainbow. I can't. Yeah. Mumbled Twilight. Well, are you ready? Asked Rainbow. Ready for sure. Replied Red. Twilight. Ready for what? Wings. All right, let's go. Said Rainbow. Go where? Off at a slow pace. So Twilight could keep up. Twilight flapped her wings evenly until she was next to Rainbow. Rainbow gave Twilight a smile, blown away at how well she had gotten up. Flying. Bit windy, okay. though, isn't it? Now we're gonna turn up the ante a little bit, said Rainbow. Twilight started to get nervous, noticing Rainbow's wings start to flap faster. Do you really think I'm ready for that? Asked Twilight. Seeing how well you're doing now, I think you're ready. Replied Rainbow. For Sonic. What do you want me Rain to do? Rainbow. Rainbow. Twilight. Well, I want you to increase your speed. To increase your speed, just carefully increase your flapping pace while keeping it even. You can do it, Twilight. 
and concentrate on your, on your surroundings at the same time. As she slowly started to increase her flapping speed. At first, Twilight wasn't having trouble, until the pace started to feel uneven. Twilight immediately started to panic. Rainbow, I'm not feeling so good, said Twilight. The feeling you're experiencing is normal, Twilight. Just slowly increase your flapping speed and it'll even out. Trust me, replied Rainbow. Twilight yeah, Rain Rainbow's got experience in this, um, t Twilight. Until it became even again. Twilight was overwhelmed as she felt her speed increase. Woohoo! As she flew through the sky. Rainbow met up with her and gave her a smile. Alright, Twilight. Now focus on slowing down by doing the process backwards. Said Rainbow. Okay. How do you this do it backwards, though? Part of the lesson. It sounds hard. Part Twilight didn't like about flying. She ignored her thoughts and focused on slowing down, noticing they were close to Rainbow's home. She started slowing down her flapping speed to where it was originally, feeling the uneven pace once more. She just remembered what Rainbow said. Yeah, you kind of slow down a bit. Where her pace was even. I think. Once she was back at her normal speed, she proceeded to land it as she descended on the cloud platform of Rainbow's cloud medium. Cloud medium. She folded her wings back to the sides of her body, immediately starting to feel an ache in her wings. She unfolded oh, the wings as Rainbow landed next to her. You okay, Twilight? Asked Rainbow. My wings hurt. I can't fold them up. <sighs> Replied Twilight. Rainbow recognized Twilight's pain. You're fine, Twilight. It's because your wings aren't used to flying fast. Once you get used to it, that pain will disappear. That's Said true. Rainbow. Makes sense. Of course it makes sense. She replied with a painful groan. Rainbow knew a way to soothe Twilight's aching wings. Hang on, Twilight. I've got just the thing for the pain. Said Rainbow. Really? Ointment? Twilight immediately protested, not wanting any sort of physical contact with Rainbow. I'll be okay, Rainbow. A massage. I'm fine. No, you're not. Said Twilight. Trying to hide a painful grin. Yeah, right. I can tell you're lying, Twilight. Said <laughs> Twilight couldn't argue with Rainbow and panicked as Rainbow dashed into her home. Well, Twilight, now the real challenge begins. She said to her Challenge? Rainbow returned what, the kissing challenge? Sort of and approached Twilight. Hold still, Twilight. I'm gonna apply some of this to the base of your wings. Said Rainbow. Called it! Twilight started to shake. As Rainbow squeezed out some of the ointment on one of her hooves and approached Hoof. Twilight's right wing. Rainbow gently rubbed her hoof against the base of Twilight's wing, immediately causing Twilight to quiver from the feeling of Rainbow touching her. And you go and up her arsehole as well. Yeah? Wing. No? But yeah? Twilight started no? to feel her body collapse. It was the same feeling as before. And Rainbow started to notice Twilight's reaction. I'm barely touching you, Twilight. Are you feeling okay? Said Rainbow. She loves you. Twilight had been caught again and proceeded to answer it with the same lie. I'm fine. <sighs> You're okay. not fine. You've been acting very strange lately. Claimed Rainbow, moving to her left wing. Tell Rainbow the Rainbow truth. Rainbow squeezed out more of the ointment and started to rub the base of Twilight's left wing, immediately increasing the feeling in Twilight's body. The feeling increased more and more as Rainbow continued to rub the base of the wing. Twilight's heart rate increased along with her breathing. She had even started to let out small moans, which Rainbow immediately caught. Rainbow had even noticed Twilight's tail starting to rise and her body collapsing. To test her theory, she didn't question Twilight and just continued the rubbing. The moans from Twilight increased as she blushed, starting to feel strange. It wasn't much Beginning of, no, of an until orgasm. Her rear leak a liquid of some sort. And at that uh, moment, in theory, this came first before the you, that video. Me. Yeah. I can't hide it anymore. I didn't want to believe it, but I think that I have fallen in love with you, Rainbow. Confess, Twilight. Good thing. Twilight was expecting Rainbow to be shocked, but was surprised as Rainbow kissed her passionately. At first. Twilight was surprised, but she didn't retract as the two lovers made their way into Rainbow's home, into the bedroom 
continuing to hold each other close, not pulling away. They kept their shape collapsing onto Ramos' bed, both breathing heavily and rubbing their hooves through each other's manes. They didn't know what to think of this unexpected romance, only that they both had loved each other for so long. Too long. Ramos broke away from Twilight's lips and said something that made Twilight feel as if a ton of weight had been lifted from her. I've loved you since the first day I crashed into you, Twilight. I was scared to admit it myself, but now that I know you love me, we can forget our doubts and be together. Twilight smiled. I'm fucking each other. Sorry. And the two made love with each other, now knowing that they were meant to be. After confessing their feelings, Rainbow Dash and Twilight proceeded to the next step in their lives, seeing it was clear they were meant to be. The two loved each other dearly, and proceeded to scheduling a wedding as soon as possible. Same-sex marriage was legal in Ponyville and Kennerlot, so they had no worries, even though some ponies thought otherwise. Rainbow and Twilight could care less what others thought, because their love was true, and just as the saying goes, true love cannot be stopped. No. There was still one task Twilight and Rainbow had to do, and it could end either good or bad. The friends. They had to tell the rest of their friends the big news, yeah. and give each of them their invites to the wedding. The couple had organized a meeting at Sugar Cube Corner as a way to tell Fluttershy, Rarity, King King, and Applejack the big news. Only Celestia knew what the outcome would be, and if the others would accept the couple's love for each other. The day came as Twilight got ready, combing her mane so it didn't look like a mess. Rainbow was still sleeping after a long night of making love with her beloved Twilight once more. Oh dear. Her snoring made Twilight laugh as she sat down the brush and walked out of the bathroom. Twilight walked over to Rainbow's side of the bed and gave her a gentle kiss on the lips, causing Rainbow to giggle. Morning, sleepyhead. Said Twilight in a playful tone. Sorry. <laughs> Morning, head. <laughs> How did you sleep? Replied Rainbow in a low voice. As she stretched her limbs. Just fine. Said Twilight. How was last night? Asked Rainbow, referring <laughs> to their lovemaking. Last night was wonderful, Rainbow. Three hours of heaven. Said Twilight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rainbow giggled. <laughs> it made me you laugh. Great as well, especially in the third hour. Oh! Said Rainbow. Did you think I was going to be easy on you? Replied Twilight. No. Uh, I was just a bit surprised, seeing I don't strike you as a sexual type. You would be surprised what an egghead is capable of. Rainbow landed a small kiss to Twilight's lips, then pulled the covers off. The voice is now, now we might be off the survey. Get ready. We've got to meet up with the others. Yeah, that, that flirting, isn't it, oh, you I two? Totally forgot. Said Rainbow as she dashed out to the bathroom. Twilight just giggled, <laughs> then made her way out of the bedroom into the kitchen. Spike had made pancakes for the two lovers, and was standing next to the oven. He looked at Twilight, noticing a look of doubt on her face. Spike was the only one who knew of Rainbow and Twilight's relationship. Of course. He agreed with it, seeing he only wanted Twilight to be happy. Aww. Twilight had told him all about it the day she finally confessed her feelings to Rainbow, and his reaction was only a smile and a thumbs up. Twilight, you feeling okay? Asked Spike. Really Hello, Dusky! <laughs> Hello, Dusky! Twilight replied. Spike had been around Twilight for a long time. A very long time. The issue. Twilight, they're your friends. They'll understand. True friends will accept anything, no matter how shocking it may be. How old is Spike? Because he's not like a teenager. Twilight gave the dragon a smile. <laughs> sat down at the table, chomping down on some of the pancakes Spike had prepared. Ten minutes later, Rainbow joined the young dragon and Twilight, immediately noticing the tower of pancakes. Her eyes bulged from the amount of pancakes the dragon had. I'm had awake! And she had even I'm pancakes! Dog. Twilight noticed Rainbow and spoke before the Pegasus could do anything. Don't even think about it. Grab some and eat a decent amount. Spoke Twilight. Spike objected to Twilight's words. Do you seriously think? I wasn't aware of Rainbow's appetite. That's why there's a pile of wobbling pancakes, Twilight. Claimed Spike. Fine, but please eat a decent amount, Rainbow. Said Twilight. All right, Twilight. Said Rainbow. Just for you. Down a total of six pancakes. Wow. Rainbow was quick, but 
I think I can manage one, but six big pancakes? That's Pinky's job, isn't it? Make sure there's no fork in it, though. and Rainbow set out for Sugar Cube Corner. Both were nervous, yet confident at the same time. Yeah, you would be. It's like it's like talking to your 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 family about it. Special locations throughout Equestria never kept secret. Posters would be hung, the wedding would be held in an open area, and of course, gossip would spread like a virus. And Freddy would and probably be the first to find out. So I was about to say that! Class ponies. The two arrived just outside of Sugar Cube Corner within moments, seeing Twilight's castle wasn't far from the location. No. It was literally only a five minute walk from the castle to Sugar Cube Corner, which normally wouldn't be a problem. But as nervous as the two were, it, would... it seemed as if a ton of weight was on their shoulders. The couple took deep breaths and held hooves, opening the door to Sugar Cube Corner, the small bell above the door ringing. Inside, their friends sat at a nearby table talking about some random gossip. Pinky was the first to see them, expressing a wide smile. <laughs> Pinky yelled, alerting the others. The rest of the group turned to face Twilight and Rainbow, noticing the two closer than usual. Twilight and Rainbow were froze in place. Well, don't be strangers. Come sit. You said you had something to announce. Said Rarity. Uh, yeah, you can tell that. That's a good. Twilight and Rainbow didn't want to. Was that kitty? But somehow, managed that's a good Rarity. Before they could even sit down. Was that kitty Captain wishing? Caught sight of them holding hooves. Um, why are y'all holding hooves? Asked Applejack. Oh my! Is one of you hurt? Added Fluttershy. Rainbow and Twilight. That's a good rarity, but was that Kitty Wish? Or was that, uh, um, I don't know the, um... Is something wrong? Asked Rarity. They braced themselves. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Is that Kitty Wish? Who's Kitty Wish? I don't... That's a good rarity, I like Fluttershy. And it might shock you. Spoke Twilight. The others expressed confused looks. As Twilight spat out the news. This may shock you all, but it's the truth. Rainbow and I are in love. And we are getting married. In a week. She exclaimed. The others gasped in <laughs> on their faces. You're what? Spoke Rarity. Rainbow decided to speak this time. Twilight and I are getting married. We love each other and have decided to tie the knot. She said. <coughs> Rarity's eyes bulged. The others couldn't speak. Including Pinky, the pony who usually always has something to say. Twilight gave Rainbow a smile as she spoke the question that could go either north or south. Now Rainbow and I asked if you will accept these invitations. If not, we understand. She spoke. They're your friends. Twilight held out four envelopes. They were your friends, Twilight. Spaces. Well, it is quite a shocking. But we are your friends. Of course we accept the invitation, along with the fact that you and Rainbow love each other. Said Rarity. Twilight did not know what to say. But she didn't have to say anything as her friends spoke. Love works in many ways. If this is what you and Rainbow Dash want, I agree. I agree as well. Even though it'll take some getting used to, I'm all for it. Spoke Applejack. Me too! We'll be friends with her, you and Dashie, a wedding party! Exclaimed Pinky. <laughs> oh, look, Pinky. gave each other smiles as they let out long breaths of relief. The hard time was over, and now Twilight and Rainbow could stop worrying and focus on starting a new chapter in their lives. Get married. As one. Over the week of preparation for the wedding, Rarity had pitched in on decoration for the wedding. Of course. And Pinky had been doing the planning for the after party. Of course. Scratch had provided music along with Octavia, because the two music ponies made an excellent duo when it came to coming up with creative tunes for weddings. Rarity had also pitched in on the designs for Twilight and Rainbow Dash's wedding dresses, and had promised to make them unique. What do Bom Bom and between two mares? DJ Her Pony is married. Also caught the news of her student's marriage and scheduled the wedding location in the Canterlot Castle Gardens, one of the most beautiful locations in Canterlot. Is it going to be a like a state wedding or something? A well wedding. Her wedding was more than likely going to end up in Canterlot, where all the royal weddings took place. Twilight may be a princess, but look at who she was marrying. 
Rainbow wasn't a pony of royalty in any way, but that was of no concern to Twilight. The wedding truly was unique. Yeah. The ways of the wedding had to be altered a little, seeing it was two brides, not a bride and groom. At the ceremony, Twilight decided that both Dude, her and Dude, do Rainbow you take this bride to be your bride? Game. And instead of Here Comes the Bride playing, a song of Rainbow and Twilight's choosing would play instead. It took What's a while to come up with the song. Before what song would you play? Rainbow and Twilight agreed on a song, which was an instrumental tune called Unique Differences that would be played by Octavia and her choir. It was a tune that matched them perfectly. The day had come for the two to be wed. Is this such a tune? The usual nervous feeling surged through both of them. Rarity had helped each with their dresses, along with their <sighs> Sorry, mate, you make me... Things that was required. Make me a bit hot. Twilight stood in her dressing room, staring at herself in the mirror. She grew more and more nervous the longer that she waited, while Rarity was helping Rainbow with her dress. She just breathed this normal... Which dress? It won't, it won't be this dress, will it? As she heard Rarity open the door, Octavia's choir had started to play as well, meaning it was time. Your lovely bride awaits, said Rarity. As Twilight oh, oh, so cute! Only to be starstruck by the sight of Rainbow. She was unable to mumble out a single word as she stared at Rainbow in her dress. It was Rainbow themed with a veil that glew in the sunlight, radiating Rainbow's beauty. The dress extended down the length of Rainbow Dash's body, even past her tail. Wow. With a rainbow pattern that glue. Her eyes were just visible through the veil. Rainbow was speechless as well, as she stared at Twilight. This is a good Twilight story, man! Color, I remember when Sparrow actually that wrote this. Shining stars. The dress extended down Twilight's entire body, just past her tail, and looked like a night sky, composed of blinking stars. The veil was a darker violet color, her eyes barely visible. Both of them just stared at each other with long smiles on their faces. You look beautiful. Uh, Twilight, as she walked toward the uh, So do you. Yes, this like is Rainbow. a good story, I like this story. Rarity signaled both of them that they needed to hurry, so Twilight stood next to Rainbow. <laughs> ready to do this? Asked Twilight. We are ready. With you by my side, I'm ready for anything. Replied Rainbow. Bright and early. Both of them remained close as they made their way out of the castle to just outside the Carolac Gardens, watching as every pony turned to the two mares. Twilight and Rainbow remained strong and slowly walked up the aisle, trying to focus on the main thing, and that was them getting married. Octavia's music helped to keep both of them calm as they made it to the end of the aisle. They stood across from each other, smiling, as the music lowered and Celestia started to speak. Mares and gentle colts, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Princess Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash. The strength That's of not bad. Is um, the power of their life undeniable. Their bond is That's unique not... in many ways, and even though some may find their love strange, it is clear that they belong together. Twilight That's not bad. Um, uh, Celestia's voice. Rainbow Dash, do you take Twilight as your lawfully wedded wife through sickness and health until death do you part? I do. Celestia. I absolutely do. Replied Rainbow. At Celestia. Health <laughs> could be a no Flanders. At the at Oakley Doakley, do you? Rainbow Dash, as your lawfully wedded wife, through sickness and health until death do you part? She asked. I do. I do. Replied Twilight, staring at Rainbow Dash. I do. Have the rings, please. Asked Celestia. Spike presented two rings, settled on a pillow of some sort. One was a ring with special properties. When held in the sun, a rainbow streak would appear along the ring's surface. The other was a simple gold ring with a gem embedded in it, cut to look like Twilight's element of harmony, magic. I want to see that ring, ring now! On a chain. That sounds like a cool ring! The, the chain would go around her neck, safe from harm. Celestia grabbed both rings with her magic and spoke again. I now pronounce you mare and mare. You may now kiss. No, Celestia. I think I started crying. And Twilight's ring around Rainbow's neck on a chain. I reject just cried. Twilight removed Rainbow's veil first, revealing Rainbow's rosy pink eyes. <coughs> by Rainbow removing Twilight's veil, <coughs> revealing Twilight's deep violet eyes. Once the veils were removed, both of them finally kissed, sealing their commitment to each other forever. Forever. Both of them were more happy forever. than before in their lives 
as they released their kiss, listening as every pony applauded and thinking of the wonderful future they'd have. Now, Rarity be the one who'd be crying now. Through the applause of the crowd, Waymo whispered into Twilight's ear. Just wait until you see what I've planned for the honeymoon, she whispered. Ooh, where? Twilight smiled at the sound of Rainbow's words, feeling her hormones start to race. I can't wait, Dashy. Replied Twilight, winking at her beloved Rainbow Dash. It's Octavia's choir. Where would you go? Once again, Where's the honeymoon? The ponies within the crowd. Oh, Kitty wishes Pinkie Pie, okay. Okay, that is over with. That I actually enjoy that story. I'm gonna play both lovers on both sides. Oh, you're gonna fall down there. And I gotta let me kiss for something. Uh, I actually enjoy that story. Um, me personally, I will ship Rainbow Dash with Fluttershy. That being said, that is a good, good um, story. I I will I will support that ship as well. I wouldn't mind that ship. Uh, I remember when Sparrow actually wrote the story last year in 2015, 2016. But the acting was good. Rarity was good. Little bits reminded me of the survey when Twilight was speaking to Rainbow. It got into nice sexual tones. Also reminds me of Sparrow's other story, which I won't go into. But you know, he knows the one I'm talking about. Where would the honeymoon be? I don't know. But that I really enjoy that I really enjoy that that story. I don't probably didn't say much, but I was into the story. I, I think it was only a three chapter deal when he when Sparrow, Sparrow wrote it, I believe. But that being said, that was I like the acting, I like Try Try Dash is actually quite good actually. I like Try Dash's um Try Dash's I like Try Dash's um voicing. She's a good VA basically. And all the other VAs are good as well. And you got an amazing um author. Yeah. Yeah, it's about I'm talking about you. Anyway, I hope you liked the reaction or my reactions to do and I will see you later on. Oh, yes.